Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We have another game between Millennium Stefano and Stork. I know I said another game. This is the first game these two have been playing. I just been another game because I've been casting replays for quite a while now. Stefano is spawning as the Red Zerg, and Stork is spawning as the Blue Protoss. And uh, Brood War fanboys, don't get your panties wet. This is not the Korean Stork, to my knowledge. It's played on the European server, and I don't know any Koreans that would want to play on EU. No offense, Europeans, but the latency just absolutely sucks. We will have Stuart go for a Forge Faz Expand, as he is getting a pylon up here, and Stefano, we'll see what he ends up doing. I, if I have to make a guess, he is going to be going for a very fast three bases, because that's what Stefano does. He is known for going three bases before Lair. He just loves his lings. If you've seen the game between OMDX that I casted yesterday, you'll see he beats a Grandmaster Terran player with only lings and queens. Yes, Grandmaster, he masses ling queen and wins. He is just that good with his ling control. It is pretty ridiculous, but this is against a Protoss player, and that was a Terran game, so Stefano will be building roaches this game. He actually still does roach, hydra, corruptor. And then goes into that money mix between Infesto and Broodlord. He just uses Road Tiger Corrupt to kind of delay. He's comfortable with that strategy, even though it's been phased out by many people. And there goes the 15 pool by Stefano. He's just doing that so he does not get cannon rush. And it's kind of odd that Protoss can take an expansion before Zerg on this map. Just because if a Zerg takes a hatchery, well, buildings will end the game with photon cannons being in this. And it just sucks terribly. So. Protoss can be kind of safe to go for a Nexus first, while Zerg can't go hatch first. That's just the way it falls, and it's been proven like impossible to uh, w like hold off a cannon rush on Taldrum Alter if you go hatch first. Even if you pull every single drone, a good cannon rusher will always win the game. This one drone is going to pass the probe, and well, he's just going to keep on chasing it. The probe is going to see the pull timing. Sees when it completes, and he does go for a Nexus first. So we'll see exactly what Stefano ends up doing when he ends up scouting this, because he has no idea where Stork is. This one over is going to come over here, say, "Okay, you're not in this position." Then this overlord will come. He's not over here either, guys. So we'll see a Lings come out and just check the final one. Be like, "Okay, well, you overlords just fail at life." How can you be so slow and so useless? And they're like, "Well, we give you food," and the Lings will be okay. It's, you accepted with us. Because you don't mess with the people who touch your food. That's just a bad idea. And looks like a drone is already going to be taking a third base before he gets any scouting information at all. He's just like, okay, well, I want to get my third base up at four minutes. If I see him doing some type of cheese, I can cancel this. But if I don't start it now, I will be vulnerable to void rays. So Stefano going on his three hatches very early. And I said that because the only anti-air you're going to have here because the queens, well, you're not going to walk this distance on slow creep anytime in, like, before Void Race comes. So you have to get this hatch up by, like, 4 minutes and 30 seconds. So you have time to build a Spore Caller at the base before Void Ray can come. And Stefano does see the forge and gateway so he knows it was a forge fast expand except he doesn't know if it was a nexus first or a forge first the overlord is making his way over and if stefano played this game a lot which he doesn't unfortunately the overlord would come over here he could click on this mineral patch and he'd have an idea being just checking how many minerals is gone okay that was a nexus first okay that was a forge first eventually when this game comes out well, not comes out, but this game's been out a lot longer. That's what those pro Korean players will be doing. They will know the timing so, so ridiculously well. This one queen is missing. Oh, no, she isn't missing an inject. She used a creep tumor instead. And Stefano still doesn't have any gas. He has six minutes in the game, and he takes his first extractor. 44 supply, 237 supply. Two gates are up by Stork, and one zealot is going to be moving on out. Stefano still just mainly droning up. Has his Evo chamber. And he will be going for a plus one. Mal well, probably range attack. Maybe melee. We'll see exactly what upgrade Stefano goes for. But he will be doing upgrades very early on. Still doesn't have a roach one. Just Mac going up. 30, 40, pro uh, 40 drones to 39 probes. But Stefano is on three bases. 
doesn't have a third queen coming out just yet. And this one zealot will get taken out by all these lings. And uh, two drones look like they were just moving around. They will be going back to mine. Or well, maybe he was just didn't want to give up that there is a base over here. And this zealot will be falling right now. But he does see, okay, there is a base down here. Stork knows about that. And we'll see exactly what he ends up doing. He may take a third base of his own, but he is going for a Robo Facility. We don't see him going to base Void Rays. So he is just playing a little bit to his own style because so many Protoss players nowadays, well, it's not nowadays. I don't know how old these replays are, but about a month ago, almost every Protoss player would be opening up with Void Rays to stop this third base. But it has been kind of dealt with now, so... Maybe this is the standard way to go about it. Just get an Observer out so you can see what your opponent has, and then make a strategy. So is this going to be an Observer first? No, it's going to be a Warp Prism first. So as I said, Stork staying true to his own strategy. Going to be going for a Warp Prism. Has four sentries out. I can only hope this is going to be a sentry drop. He's going to force field the mineral line and take out a lot of drones. He's getting a lot more gateways, so this could actually just be a full-out attack. And just warp in, use this warp prism as a portable pylon, warp in a lot more units. We'll see exactly what Stork ends up doing. Plus one weapons now just finishing as the warp prism does come out. This looked to be semi well timed. And once this weapon's finished, that will allow the Zealous to kill Lings in two hits instead of just one hit. And that is a big, big deal. We do have the missile attacks going down and the metabolic boost with Roach Speed. And now Roach is joining the battle. And Stefano just has a lot of units just moving around the map, trying to stop these two Zealots from getting information. This one Ling is going to see them on this watchtower. The Zealots don't go to check it, and only three Roaches. Stefano doing a great job at hiding the main pieces of his attack force, and everything's going to go and take out these rocks while Zealots come into his third base. And he can't use Lings to defend this just because Zealots do so well against Lings with the plus one upgrade. We have a Spore Caller built. Stefano was thinking it was going to be a Void Ray play, but no, it is not. Drones have been pulled. No drones die. Look how many get away with, like, 1 HP, but they are going to go back. Stefano's going to try to save his hatch, but that is not going to happen. Sentries do join the fight just in time to get force fields off, and now they go back up, and the Zealous going to go down, and the Sentries are going to come up here. He's going to whoop in even more units. These Overlords will be falling. And Stork is doing such a good job with this one Warp Prism. Now, what is he going to do, though? He's got a lot of units. Force fields do go down. And the sentries get back in the Warp Prism. That is the precious gas. And it looks like he's going to just let the Zealots die. Stork is still just at two bases. He is getting Colossus out right now. We have another base coming up over here. But Stork knows about it and has a pylon ready for it. Sentries coming in, trying to do a little bit of a drop to do a lot of damage. But don't, look how many drones, oh that's only three drones, we got trapped there, I thought it was going to be a lot, and they could easily take those out, but Stefano was there, these lings are going to come to take out this one pylon, will it get the zealots morphed in time to take out the space, it does not look like it, something finally going right for Stefano, he still hasn't taken out those rocks, it looks like Stefano wants to take those out, while Stork is getting up to take his third base as well, Stefano taking a hatch all the way down over here, this one pylon, I don't know what this pylon's thinking, but he is just placing pylons in remote locations. These rocks will be falling. Stefano is getting this base back up. And the Warp Prism does see that. He knows about this base, but he doesn't know about this base. And I'm waiting to see that third Nexus come out. We have 61 drones to 63 probes. Double pylons on the way and more and more Colossus. And it looks like Ling still just checking for any pylons they can, but I highly doubt they'll find this pylon because it's in such an awkward place. But it'll be in a good place against this one base. Does he know about this base? No, he doesn't. Okay, I was correct about that. I was going to say, if he knows about the base, that would be pretty ridiculous. This one warp prism is going to come out, maybe do a little bit of damage to this one base. Stefano will have to be on his toes against this warp prism play, but he has all the watchtowers. Look at the vision Stefano has. He is missing this one washed out, but he truthfully does not need that. And he's easily going to deal with this. Ling's already coming, saying, hey, I see you. The weapons will be like, oh, shocks. 
Still nothing happening with that one pylon. We have Burrow on the way and a Hydra Den. As I said, Stefano really likes Roach Hydra Corruptor. Few links sit over here and a bunch of Roaches sit over here. This one Warp Prism cannot do a thing. He is just going to be going and Stefano finally taking another base. He is going to be going on, this is going to be a sixth base maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six bases to the Protoss is three, but we have Colossus and Sentries moving out. Work, and he's using this one Warp Prism just to morph in some more units. Going into this army tab, you can see that Stork has about the same supply. 103 to 102. But the Hydras are not out yet. The Corruptors finally get in that uh, critical mass number that they need to be in. But is that going to be enough to own? Lots of Stalkers here. Stork is at 1 1. Stefano is at 2 0. Force fields go down, stopping those Roaches. One of those Colossus falls so far. And looks like the second one now just falling. The third one's out of shields, but Stefano has so much of a gateway for still. Not many roaches left for Stefano. Those corruptors gonna be going down, but the Colossus have been dealt with, so Stefano does not mind that one bit. Even more force shields. Some things get canceled as the warp prism does die. And he still has this one pile. Is he gonna warp in use and go to this base while he attacks this one? It doesn't look like it, but that would be such a ball of play. This one hatch is gonna be falling. And uh, Stefano has plenty other bases. These roaches aren't going to be able to do too much. Force fields go down. So these roaches cannot run away. And there's going to be a lot of almost three kills for Stork. Stork still does not have Blink, but he is getting a Twilight Council for that Blink. And that will make the Stalkers a lot more effective against the roaches. And a lot of roaches for Stefano going down. He tried to save this one base, but it's not going to be enough. Thankfully, he has many, many more bases. It's not like... The Protoss is going to be closing bases. Oh my god, that hatch is at 12 HP. Units are falling back. You could breathe on it. Does he think it fell? It looks like he's worried about a counterattack, but again, just one shot from a Stalker would have killed that. Not a volley, a single Stalker shot. And that hatch would have went down. Now it'll take two. It's at 20 HP. And yeah, it looks like he's going to do that. Stefano going for a little bit of a poke. This is not a counterattack as it's almost no units. It will take out these two stalkers it looks like, but a cannon here will not defend that middle line. That one hatch goes down, of course. And now we'll just get up close and personal. Force fields go down. Blink is not done yet, but those stalkers still doing pretty good against the roaches. Hydra's now coming out for Stefano. And it looks like Stefano is on the roach, but as soon as he gets those Hydras and backs up to them, he will be fine against this gateway only army. And, okay, probes got pulled. Stefano killed 18 probes there. These Lings did a lot of damage, actually. Both these have four kills, and you saw how many Lings went in. It was about 10, so big blunder there by Stork. He's pulling a lot of his units back. The supply count is 61 probes to 70 drones. The great, uh, Hydro Range upgrade is on the way. And that is definitely a lot of Hydras from Stefano. He is not afraid to uh, use them off of Crete, making his army very immobile. The Blink is just about done for the Stalkers. The Zealots are going for a plus three attack, or actually all the Gateway armies are going for plus, oh no, it's plus two attack, not plus three. And here we go, big battle is commencing. Will, will happen here. The Sentry should throw down force fields and try to Separated in half, but it doesn't look like that's happening. He's just falling back to the pylon. There we go. Force fields go down, and everything does pull back, but he doesn't really trap any units. Just divides the armies in half. And now everything is for Stefano is going to go into the natural of Stork, and that forge is going to be falling before plus two can finish. And this may be bad for Stefano right now. He is sandwiched between a rock and a hard place. So many Stalkers and a Colossus on the other side. Now Zell's game whooped in from behind. It looks like Stork will be able to take this force out. I don't see him utilizing Blink that well. He could save a few units and handle this battle a little bit better. There's Hydra's doing a lot of damage. They are at 2-0. He is getting armor for them and getting Malay level 2. So it looks like he is going to be going in to a lot of Malay units. Maybe get Blinks out. I don't know exactly what Stefan is thinking. He is going to be taking this base yet again. And now Lings are going to come in and trap all of Stork's Stalkers. Zealots coming in. 
Four skills go down, but the stalkers do just blink out of the way, so there's links that HUD would did not go uh rewarded. Bunch of links come into this middle line and they did a lot of damage to the natural just a minute ago, but they don't do any damage to that third base. And Stefano is pulling back. You gotta keep in mind, still has this one hatch, has this hatch, has this hatch. He is still on uh six bases to the three of store. But his saturation is the saturation good? Let's check the income tab. Yeah, saturation is damn good. So Stefano is playing this game pretty well. But Stork, I mean, he's playing this well as well. The supply count is 150 to 136. And another pylon built here because this one was not awkward enough. And Zell is going to be checking this out. Going to find this one base. Only three drones mining. Not a huge lo uh, loss to lose the base, but it's never a good thing to lose hatches. It looks like Hydras and Lings are going to be pulled off to try to defend this one hatch. He doesn't want to lose it, but he is going to have to, I think. And the Lings and everything are pulled back because Stefano, I mean, Stork has a pretty large dummy just in the middle of the map chilling out. If Stefano goes out of position to defend something, well, that will be very bad. And did those Lings get any kills? They have two kills. I don't know if they killed a hatch that was going down for Stork or not. I'd highly doubt that. I think they're just bird there to stop any type of uh, fourth base. And the whole army does get pulled back to deal with those two burrowed lings. And it looks like we just have a Hydra Corruptor. I wouldn't call this Roach Hydra Corruptor as he only has... Well, he has 21 Roaches. I don't know where 21 Roaches are. They're definitely not here. Ah, there they come. They're coming in from behind. So, he's got a lot of Roaches. I still think some are missing. Maybe I'm wrong. 21 Roaches, 23 Hydras, and 12 Corruptors. Only two Colossus out. He's going to have to force target the Hydras with the Colossus. Big battle going on, actually. Too big for the screen. This is so beautiful. The Hydras doing so much damage to these Gateways units. The Colossus do go down. The Stalkers have to retreat. Stefano does have his opponent now on the rope. Stork could be in trouble here. Another Colossus does join the fight, but that's so many Corruptors. And this one Colossus goes down almost instantly. Stefano... I think he's just going to win the game with Roach Hydra Corruptor. Doesn't even have to go into that Blue Woods. He has been on so many bases. The, this hatch did go down, but you know what? He's like a Hydra. You take one base out, he's going to be getting two more. Actually, it's just one more, but he will be getting another one. Don't get me wrong. Stefano is maxed out now. Now, just starting to bank up those minerals. 200 supply, two only, 120. It's going to take a damn good toilet to come back from this. And Stork doesn't even have a Stargate, so he can't do that. Of course, the toilet is like the equivalent to a Tannin player's nuke. And this fourth base is going to go down. There's nothing to do. Hydras do very well against Corruptors. I think the Hydras, 2-1, two, 2-2-1, one, two, two, one, so the upgrades are even. Though it's now coming in the mix, but again, the Hydras, just too many Hydras. And the Corruptors will insta-gib any claws that come out. We still have Lair Tech, no Hive, and Stork does throw the GG. Stefano will be taking that game.